It gets a little a landscape. For us, we got no landscape. We got the swamp. Welcome or welcome back to another video. It's Igor Arian Styles. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and clicking on another video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always supporting your girl. Now from the title you can see, we'll be talking about my recent vacation to Cancun, Mexico. I'll be showing you all the shenanigans that we were up to, as well as to give you the most honest and genuine review of the resort that we stayed at. So if this is something that you're interested in, just keep on watching. So we'll be starting out from the moment we left our home to head to the airport. So, you know, everything was looking up. We were so excited. We booked our flights with Swoop. Now Swoop is a discounted airline. We tried to do everything that was required prior to arrival. We checked in, we prepaid for our carry-ons, which we have to pay for every single piece of luggage. You are only allowed a personal item. So we were already aware of that. Now, as soon as we walked up, along with my friend, he kind of asked like, are you guys traveling together? We're like, yes, we're traveling together, but we have two separate reservations. So he dealt with my friend and he was like, this personal item is considered to be a carry-on bag and I'll have to charge you for it. So, but he was like, okay, I'm gonna let it slide. Once we got to him and we showed him our carry-on bag and our personal item, he right off the bat was like, this is way too many bags. And I'm like, what do you mean it's way too many bags? We're allowed a personal item. My son has his diaper bag. I had a handbag and my partner had a crossbody bag, like literally nothing extravagant. So I'm like, we are allowed our personal item. Him just start with the attitude right away. And just like, you know, when those people kind of have a power in a sense of saying you know i can charge you for every bit and piece here right now and so it's best for you not to say anything we kind of just like calm down and let him do his thing have his power moment and just whatever because he then mentioned oh if you keep arguing with me i'm gonna let you stand to the side and miss your flight that for me <laughs> It's not, it's not the kind of game that I wanted to play, okay? So I was just like, okay, just do your thing, do what you gotta do, it is what it is. So service on that airline, well, for the agents at the desk, terrible. Zero out of 10, I would not recommend. Also, you are thinking, oh, it's $60 for a bag and you already know what it's gonna be like. Those bags can run all the way over a hundred dollars if they say so. So be cautious when you're booking with these discount airlines, be sure that you only have two pieces of clothes and you have a, your wallet. That's the only thing that's considered to be a personal item. So that's a word to the wise. As for the flight itself, I had no problems. They did seat us towards the front and we were all sitting together. That's the only thing the agent was able to do, child. So we, <laughs> we sat together and that was fine. The flight attendants, they were very, very sweet. They were like, they were courteous. They were, they were really nice and they were really nice to Chaz. So we really enjoyed the actual flight. Now, would I ever fly with this airline again? I don't even know if they're, they're going to be in business anymore. I think they kind of sold to a bigger airline, but whatever. I don't think I would travel with them anymore.
As it relates to transportation from the airport to the resort, we book with Nexus Tours. Nexus Tours is basically, I would say, the resort's partner with transportation, so we booked with them. Now, the only drawback that I have with that is that um, for what is rated as a five-star resort, I would think transportation would be a part of the package. That unfortunately was not the case, but it was sorta of discounted when you look at it in relation to arrival, like just arriving there and just seeing a random person and asking them to drop you off. You paid 80 US dollars round trip. So that was that. Yay. <laughs> now we arrived at the resort and the resort that we're talking about is Royalton Rivera Cancun. We arrived at the resort a little bit after 8 p.m. Now, once we arrived, it was time for us to like check in, get our rooms, all of that. That process was not necessarily hard. It was just not anything that was wooing, in my opinion. So the room, the room is what you would call a junior luxury suite. It had two double beds. Um, it had a jacuzzi, a standing shower, and you know, all the other amenities that the uh, resort would have. Um, now, in my opinion, the decor and the room itself is kind of dated, but there was no signs of like, you know dirt or anything of that sort that it wasn't maintained it's just the overall resort itself the rooms are dated so royal ten has various levels to their packages or whatnot so they have the junior which is what we got they had diamond club members and hideaway members now we didn't really see the hideaway rooms but we got a chance to see the diamond club rooms and honestly there was no difference between the two rooms i feel like it's just the amenities that were a little bit different but the rooms looked the same overall for the room we were okay in a sense until my friend brought it to my attention to come out on the balcony and see what was there once I stepped out on the balcony, I realized that, you know, sometimes you'll get a little garden view, even if you don't have like a water pool or anything like that, you know, you get a little a landscape. For us, we got no landscape. We got the swamp. <laughs> when we stepped out on the balcony, all we saw was the mangrove, the swamp. And not only did we see that, it smelled terrible like we opened the door for two seconds and we let all that bad air into the room and then throughout the night we were walking around and all of that and we realized that this scent permeated throughout the entire resort so that was a rude awakening for us
welcome or welcome back to another vlog so we are currently in cancun mexico and i got here well we got here last night but really late so last night and today we've just been on go on go this vacation is it, i don't know it seems pretty like quicker than the usual for some reason so we're here for my friend's wedding and i'm just taking this opportunity to know you know show you guys a little bit more now let's talk about the resort that we are at we're staying at the royalton resort honestly it's my first time staying at one of their resorts and my personal review hasn't been good so far i don't know if it's because um it's like so many of us but yeah the room i mean the room is okay but the view is trash like trash 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 and there was nothing else available um for that day right for this day to get here for the wedding there was nothing so we had to just take what we we get but i mean i understand why it would be a hotel with such a like a terrible view no one thought that old or whatever but we're just trying not to focus on that and to have fun so far so good it's been great we've been having a great time just like you know enjoying a vacation so right now we're almost done getting ready we have a rehearsal dinner i'm not a part of a wedding but brady is and so they're having a dinner and i guess we're just tagging along we're just there for moral support <laughs> but yeah so we're getting ready to do that i am sure you guys would have seen a small like a room tour and also some of the things that we've been up to since we got here last night so i just wanted to formally say hello if it's your first time stopping by thank you so much for clicking on another vlog <laughs> Tell me why they give you four left foot and shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you have me. I'm not. No, me. I'm not me. <laughs> you have four legs. <laughs> <laughs> why they are them to the same place? Then give you four mm -hmm. left foot. I'm tearing for the cock Yeah, you look so bad. My knee knock.
staying on the resort for quite some time so we were all looking forward to you know a little bit more fun and adult time so we had a catamaran you know excursion that was scheduled for us and it was kind of like an all white vibe so the resort offered babysitting services but come on it was twenty dollars like twenty dollars an hour but it was a trade-off we were willing to make because we were looking to have a little bit of a fun time but twenty dollars anyways we were hoping that this would last from like three o'clock to seven o'clock we never leave the resort until like four o'clock and then we weren't back until eight. So babysitting cost us $120 for the entire time. I feel like even though the facilities are there to, you know, have babysitters, $20 kind of steep. Like it's, it's expensive to me, but we didn't really have a choice. And so that's something to consider if you're looking to go to this resort. I know that some um, resorts offer aftercare at, depending on their age, you might have to pay, but usually if they're three years old or older, they stay for free. But in this circumstance, our only option was to pay $20 an hour. And we did that.
were leaving later on in the night so we wanted you know get our last swim get all of those our last final moments like together and still enjoy a little bit of our money so we you know we went to the pool we went I think we changed outfits like twice but anyways we went to the pool we went on to the beach we just got our pictures in me and Makini do our little hand hand challenge which I'll pop it up here because it was fun we did that and you know just try to enjoy the moment before we had to go because I think our flight was like it was a later in the in the evening like literally late we got back to toronto around 1 a.m so it was it was quite late all right so we got packed up all of that we had to check out though at 11 but because there were quite a number of people there with us at, for the wedding we knew people so what we did was to give our bags to the front desk but we washed off the sun and all of that in one of our friends room and then we were all ready to go. Now, this is where some shit started to happen, okay? La noche se acabó, pero tengo otra vida contigo. Le doy gracias a Dios. Siempre pasándolo contigo en la playa, devorarte como el sol de la mañana, viajando todo el día sin drama, solo tú y yo, una bonita llena de alcohol. Tomar un chap a ti, un chap a mí, un chap. Un día bonita llena de alcohol. Tomar un chap a ti. Baby, me perdí Buscando el sabor que encontré en ti Canela con dolor de Bacardi Lo sentí Baby, me tiene desenfocado Viendo doble, bien borracho Demasiado jodido Contigo Pasándome contigo en la playa Devorarte como el sol de la mañana Viajando todo el día sin drama Como eso de la mañana Viajando todo el día sin drama Solo tú y yo Un día bonito Llega de alcohol Tomar un chap a ti Un chap a mí Un chap Un día bonito
So I don't know where, I don't know where in the process, if it's either the people that at the resort or if it was Brady who messed up somewhere along the line, but somebody dropped the ball, okay? So I was told, I was told to go into the car, not worry about the bags, just to look at the baby and try to film. Now me, I follow instructions. If you tell me to do that, that's what I'm going to do. So I went and took my seat. All our bags were together. So I'm thinking, Brady knows my stuff. He knows his stuff. What could go wrong? <laughs> no, this is a 15 minute drive from the resort to the um, airport. Mind you, we prepaid for our transportation to and from, right? So we weren't looking to come out of pocket in any ways on that last day. Until we got to the airport, a good thing. We never left in the nick of time, okay? It's a good thing you always follow instructions when the people them stay. Try to arrive at the airport two to three hours before your flight time. So we got there, all the bags are come out of the, the car, everything coming out. I'm not seeing my, my, my handbag, not seeing it. So I'm looking around like, where did this bag walk off to? Now I turned to Brady, I was like, where's my bag? I don't know, I don't know where it is, it was there. And I'm like, what? Where is my bag? Both him and the driver looking blank as hell. That was when I realized that they, I don't know who, left my handbag with my things. Good thing I had my passport. He had my passport in his crossbody bag. But everything else, my wallet with my money, everything. Everything left in my handbag at the resort. So I said to the driver, the next sister, I was like, can you take us back? We'll pay you to go back. He's like, no, just like literal no. Mind you, we had no phone to call anybody. We do nothing. He was just that like, literally no. And I'm like, really? Like, I get it. Like, I get it. This was not a part of your, what you were told to do, but like it's a 15 minute ride and you saw what happened. And some of it is your fault too. Like, and then he just started to say, um, I asked if there was any anything else, like trying to take the blame off of him. So I'm like, you know what, whatever. So somebody else, you know the guys, the airport full of people trying to make a quick buck. So two guys came up and was like, so we were like, how much is it to go to Royalty and Rivera? The guy with too much audacity looked at us and said, it's $90. Hold on, not $90 to go and to come back, $90 each way. I'm like, you are out of your bapid ass mind. Like you are crazy. $180 for a 15 minute ride, come on. But I realized that they saw that we were desperate in that moment to go back for our stuff because I was having a full on panic attack, okay? They saw that we were having that moment and they were trying to take advantage of that moment. No, which by me come from in a Jamaica, that's, that's normal. <laughs> it's what they do. But he was trying to finesse us. Like literally, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I need my bag, but I will walk back today before I pay you $90 to go and to come. Okay. Our bread will have to walk back because I'm not paying you $90. Anyways, somebody said they'll take $90 to go and come. Mind you, I still robbery that it's still bull crap, but we had no choice but to pay $90 to get by my bag that Brady, the person at the hotel and the driver left. So the trip ended as a nightmare. <laughs> it literally ended as a nightmare. So. Yeah, so you understand how I'm feeling about this entire trip. So I'm gonna break up my review for Ralton Rivera into a couple of parts. So let's start with the food. The food is literally to save you from not starving. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not being dramatic. 
I am not being dramatic. It wasn't just me. Like, other people in my party did not like the food either. It was terrible. No, some drinks. If you want drinks, they're gonna get you drunk. Not only that, but the resort has this policy where everywhere is closed at 11 o'clock until one o'clock. No, why would you do that? Even the food trucks are closed for two hours? Why? One day, Chaz was so hungry and we couldn't even find an apple because the buffet closed, the food trucks are closed, all the restaurants are closed. I, I, I just don't get why you would do that. So that for me, I will rate that experience a strong three. Okay, food, three. Entertainment. Entertainment, I like the fact that they do these little things in the pool and all of that. I like the nightclub because the nightclub have a little buzz. Now, for the family-wise entertainment, that's where they've lost me, okay? So I would say overall entertainment is probably a five. And the reason I put it as a five and I'm really being generous is because it has the potential. If you are there as adults, you don't have children, you'll, you'll have a good time. Just drink and have a good time. But for family purposes, no. Like, we don't want to hear the mariachi every single night. Give us something else. Give us a phone party. Give us some robots a dance. Like, give us something else. Like, give us something. Okay? All right. Now to the aesthetics or how the room was. The room is very dated. Like, it is... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Very, very, very dated. First of all. The other parts of the resort, like the lobby and stuff, be beautiful. But the rooms, not so much. Very dated. Also, I feel like as it relates to the service, the service, hospitality-wise, was not good. We was three of us staying in our four of us staying in our room, three adults, one child, and we waited two nights to get a robe. We waited two nights to get a robe. And when they brought us bed slippers, which we asked for and then bring in two days later, they brought us four left feet. Four left foot. So as it relates to the overall, you know, room and also the service, I will have to say it is a two. And I'm not being harsh. It is a two because why do I want to look at the swamp? And why do I want to walk around the resort and smell the swamp? Even where the reception was held, before the night came down, it smelled nasty. Now, again, I'm not being exaggerative, like that's literally the case. So as it relates to that, that's what I would rate it. Yeah, overall, it was good to have a vacation with my family there. I loved the lobby, I love the pool, I just lo I love the weather, I love the beach, but all of the other things, the amenities, the food, stuff like that, that you look forward to when you're staying in an all-inclusive resort, especially when you're on the resort for an extended period of time, was very disappointing. Now take that how you want it. This could just be my person, my and my family's personal preferences or standards so i would say take what i'm saying with caution and if it is that you are looking to book with royalty and cancun then go ahead and do that try it for yourself and see if you would like it i'm sure there's a lot of people who actually love it i feel like the resort was not empty at all which means that they have their target market or target audience but that was not me so would i ever go back to royal and rivera cancun a very strong no now would i try it in places like jamaica that i hear that it is good maybe because i heard that mexico was good too and trust me somebody lied <laughs> somebody lied but I would, I wouldn't, I would not go back to me, to Cancun, um, Royal Ten Rivera. There's just like too many good resorts in Mexico itself for me to put myself through what I felt like I went through um, at that resort. So, yeah. 
Overall, we made the best of our vacation because we were already there. The wedding was beautiful and that was the purpose that why we were there. It's just we would have hoped that, you know, overall it would have been a more memorable experience. But yeah, it is what it is. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, enjoyed this review. Leave your comments down below and let me know if you've ever been to this resort and if it is that you actually love it. I would love to hear your views. Also, if you were thinking of going there, let me know in the comments down below. I want to hear your thoughts about this. Thank you so much for stopping by and clicking on another video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.